Now we are going to start with the urine formation that is how the urine is formed in a human body. See urine formation consists of three parts. It is like the whole mechanism is divided into three parts. One is filtration. Other is reabsorption. And third is collection. And third is collection. So first we are going to start with the filtration. So what happens in this, see like uh, when we see Bowman capsule it appears to be like this and I told you there are capillaries present in the Bowman capsule that is the glomerulus. So uh, like it seemed to, it appeared to like, it appears to be like this but actually if we see with microscope there are certain pores present in the this thing, uh, the Bowman capsule, the inner wall of the Bowman capsule and those pores are called as fenestra those pores are called as fenestra. So what happened in filtration all the substances which are flowing in the blood whether useful or non-useful keep in mind all the substances I am talking about which is present which is present in the blood including the hormones, enzymes, everything even the waste also whether it is useful or non-useful just diffuse from the blood into Bowman capsule. It diffuse from the this thing blood into Bowman capsule and it is carried uh, from Bowman capsule through PCT and it reaches the loop of Henle. So this is what is the filtration. So what you are going to write here in filtration all the substances whether useful or non-useful all useful or non-useful just diffuse into Bowman capsule passes PCT and reaches loop of Henle that is to this portion. Next we have is reabsorption as we know that the capillary is just coiled around it. So what happened when the substances reaches this portion so those substances which are uh, you can say which are useful for a body because here all the substances useful and non-useful just got diffused but here on reaching here the substances which are useful they are just put back into the capillary blood they are put back into the capillary blood that is the reabsorption occurred. This is what we call as reabsorption that means the substances which are useful are reabsorbed by the blood and the remaining one which is left over here it is regarded as waste that is regarded as waste the, the substances which are not being reabsorbed they are called as waste and in this region only the water absorption take place from outside so that means waste combines with water and waste combines with for water now form urine it forms urine. So now this is what is the reabsorption. So how you are going to write here the substances are reaching the loop of Henle so out of those substances which are useful are put back into the capillary blood the leftover is called as waste in this region the water absorption take place so waste in water forms unite to form urine so this is what is the reabsorption. Third is the collection. So you need to write that urine now we will be not calling it as waste because it has been transformed into urine now. So urine passes from DCT to CT, urine passes from DCT to CT and uh, like a CT of a nephron, CT means collecting tubules as we know there are many nephrons so all the collecting tubules of different nephrons uh, this thing just unite to form the bigger collecting tubules more bigger collecting tubules and they just pour their secretion into renal pyramids and through renal pyramids it is being poured into the this thing um, the ureter and from ureter the, all the waste it is just being that is the urine is carried into a urinary bladder where it is temporarily stored because see urinary bladder is a sac where the urine gets temporarily stored and then uh, through urethra this opening it is excreted out. So and you know that there is a term involved the excretion of urine the process of passing urine is called as micturation is called as micturation. So this is what happened in the urine formation. So how you are going to write I am just going to uh, this thing uh, uh, dictate an answer in a formative way. So urine formation consists of three parts filtration, reabsorption, collection right. Then you will be writing filtration all the substances which are present in the glomerulus uh, that is the blood which is flowing in the Bowman capsule whether useful or non-useful just diffuse from fenestra into Bowman capsule and through PCT it reaches the loop of Henle this is filtration. Next reabsorption all the substances which reaches here in the loop of Henle and out of that uh, which is being uh, which are useful or can be used by your body are put back into the capillary plant. Leftover waste in this region water absorption is going to take place and so it forms a urine 
third collection urine forms from dct to ct small cts of different nephron unite to form bigger then more bigger and finally they form renal pyramids and through renal pyramids they pour their secretion into ureter through ureter it reaches the urinary bladder where it is temporarily stored and then voluntary or a non involuntary action because once the urinary bladder get filled up then you need to excrete that urine so that means because the urinary bladder muscle cannot remain contracted for long period so that is why um, by voluntary or involuntary action it is just excreted by the urethra and the passing of urine is termed as micturation that is termed as micturition and as I, as, as I was explaining you that what is the main function of the loop of Henle because as you have seen that this is the region which is concentrating the urine that means it is just deciding that what amount of water should be in urine or uh, the water should be more in the urine or water should be less in the urine or what type of um, or you can say what amount of waste should be there. So that means loop of Henle helps in concentration of urine this U shaped structure just helps in concentration of urine that means it decides that whether the urine is going to be dilute or concentrated. So this is very important so this is what is a urine formation in the humans.